Gwen. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm starting a weekend reading vlog. I haven't done one of these in a really long time. I've done a couple of spoiler vlogs and I've done some other type of TBR vlogs and stuff like that. But today it's just going to be a weekend reading vlog. Um, I'm currently reading The Night Swim by Megan Golden. I got this in my book of the month pick, obviously. Um, really, really excited about this. I have already started it. I read for a little bit yesterday. I'm on chapter eight. I'm 42 pages in. Well, 41. I'm on page 42. Um, and I don't have any major plans this weekend. I'm not going to do anything exciting. It's gloomy and gray outside. I just got out of the shower. I'm currently working on the curly girl method for my hair. Yeah, I recently picked up the curly girl handbook. Um, I think this is like the second version or something like that. Like it's updated or whatever like that. But yeah, I picked this up and you have to determine like what type of curl your hair has. Also, this video is not sponsored. This is just things I'm doing in my life. Um, so yeah, you have to identify your curl type and um, it tells you like different springs and stuff like that. And I have determined that I have this type of curl. And then you go to, after you figure out what type of curl you have, you go to your actual hair wash, your cleansing method, your hair washing method. So cleansing and conditioning and then um, styling and so forth. Yeah. So this is the second time I have officially like washed my hair with the shampoo and conditioner because yes, I did go all out and get the shampoo and conditioner and moisturizing cream and towel and all of that. But yeah, that's why my hair is wet. That's why it's down. So you'll see what it looks like um, this weekend and you'll have to let me know what you think. And if you do the curly girl method, like let me know as well. But yeah, I'm just, I got a lot of good info out of this. And also it has um, some recipes in the back and it also tells you about like trimming your hair as a curly girl and like what you should ask your stylist if you go to a salon or something like that because obviously just like with other hair types you need a specific type of person that is used to dealing with your type of hair and to be completely honest I would say 99.9% .9 of the time I'm cutting my hair myself I actually did recently chop off five to six inches of my hair so this is where it currently is and it used to be like down here in my back so yeah I recently cut off like all the split ends, all the dead stuff, and I am diving into this method. So yeah, I'm gonna be reading this. I'm also trying a 30-day detox with Timmy, and they actually sent me the tumbler, sent me the tea, all of that, and I'm really excited about it. Today was like day number one because I got my package yesterday. It's actually all over here, but it came in this really great, detox package and it came with um the tumbler which I got this they let me choose what color tumbler I wanted and I got the um lavender color one which I really like and then there's two teas there's like a morning tea and um and nighttime tea this is the nighttime tea the morning one is obviously in my kitchen um but they also sent a detox calendar oh here it is here's the two teas um, yeah, so I'm going to be doing this over the next 30 days. I'm also going to talk about this in my Q&A because I have a lot of info. Like, I got a lot of great questions, so I really appreciate you guys asking me those questions. I'm really excited to film that video for you guys. Um things have just been busy things have been happening so I will fill you all in but I don't want this to come off like I'm shoving this in your face but it is something that is a part of my life now for the next 30 days so you will be seeing it also they sent me all of this stuff for free I'm putting that out there um, but I'm just really excited to do a detox tea especially with coronavirus to be completely honest I haven't been exercising well because of things that have been happening with my dog which I will catch you up on in the Q&A video I'm just gonna say you're gonna see this pop in several times in like the near future just because like it is a part of my life right now um, and it's only day number one also they sent me this really cute um, tea strainer like if you don't have a tumbler or something like that that you can just use a loose leaf tea strainer and 
So that's really cute. And also, like, I'm all purple today. That's really cool. But yeah, anyway, I've been really busy over the last couple of weeks. I will say the last 14 days because it's the 14th of August right now. Um, yeah, it's been... It's been a wild ride, guys. So I do have a lot to catch you up on in that Q&A video, but I just thought this weekend, let's just chill, let's just relax, let's take care of ourselves. I started my detox, I'm doing my hair, I'm reading a book, and where'd my book go? I'm especially excited about this because it has podcast elements in it, and I obviously have the physical book, but I'm also listening to it on audiobook because it has the podcast element, so I actually used my Audible credit on this book. Here's my hair so far. <laughs> That's what it's drying like. It's just air drying. Um, I had a whole bunch to do today, but I updated um, one of my friends about a secret project I'm working on. I researched fence options for our backyard. I came up with this low wooden fence right here. Um, that's like a whole process. We actually had a storm come through and we had some damage done and it like took off two. So we have three missing pieces and the top part of another one cracked we had like we currently have a vinyl fence we're gonna go wooden this time because of my husband um i had to email a company that i'm working with i had to take a picture for a company i'm working with and i started this weekly vlog um i also signed up for um an event that my book club is hosting for next month that i'm really excited about i did a little prep work for that and now my husband is in the bedroom snoring his head off but i'm gonna go back there and join him and read the night swim oh my gosh you guys my mother-in-law stopped by today she's getting ready to leave but she brought me stuff so she's fixing to leave right now but so we just went over there, we just went over to her house last night, but we were talking about our favorite dressing, Trader Joe's goddess dressing, and she actually bought me two bottles, because it's our favorite, like hers and mine, and she also got me this really cool, like, squeegee, um, stay clean scrubber. All right, sorry for the interruption. Um, I was, I did read a little bit more of the night film, or the night film, um, the night swim <laughs> by Megan Gona. I think I'm on like the 80-ish page mark. Um, and then I was starting to take a nap, got woken up by my mother-in-law. She came to drop us off um, Goddess Dressing, which is my favorite <laughs> from Trader Joe's. And Trader Joe's is like on her side of town. Um, and we were talking about it last night. She goes, oh, next time you go to Trader Joe's, get me some goddess dressing. I was like, next time you go to Trader Joe's, get me some goddess dressing. So she literally went to Trader Joe's today and got me some goddess dressing. I just, I love her so much. Okay, so I'm cleaning up my Goodreads and I realized that Taryn Fisher's new book got a book cover and it comes out in December. All right, it is a 410 and i am back in bed i'm going to read some and that's the plan
husband is playing Switch, which means that I have a chance to catch up on some booktube videos before I start my day, like my actual day. Um, I did make my morning tea. You guys saw that. So I'm going to be drinking this instead of coffee this morning. I managed to read this much of my book yesterday, this part up here. So I'm here. I'm on chapter 38, page 228. And I'm going to take a little break watch some videos when my husband's done i'll play animal crossing and do my daily tasks i did end up painting my nails yesterday um and then after he's done with that then i'll oh after he's done with that i'll jump on and do my dailies and then after that i'm gonna jump into my book and try to finish ah i thought i would sit here and talk to you guys um i am currently doing a reading sprint I am on page 277, so I'm almost done, and I am going to be buddy reading a very interesting book. It's a chunky one, and it is by an author I've never read from before, but I'm actually picking that up after this book, and the people that I'm buddy reading it with want to start today. I'm here with my final update of The Night Swim by Megan Golding and I am rating this story four out of five stars. I really, really enjoyed it, but I wanted to give you a brief synopsis because I don't think I ever did. Basically, you have this super popular podcaster, like a true crime podcaster that has worked on a few cold cases. She's moving into her third season and for the first time ever, she is going to be following an active rape trial as the whole trial goes down. So she arrives into the town that the trial is taking place and she's going to be covering the entire case and she's putting her podcast listeners in the jury box as evidence is coming out and letting them decide what they think. At the same time, she has received letters and emails and I don't know, she keeps getting letters from this other woman named Hannah that is talking to her about her sister Jenny dying several years before, like 20 years before or 25 years before. And she starts to get interested in that case as well. So it's kind of like a mix of this rape trial and the mysterious letters and emails that she's getting and um, being involved with that case or possibly not wanting to get involved in that case. And I really, really enjoyed it. Um, if there was something missing as far as like the ultimate spark to raise it up to five stars. Um, but I mean, really, really good. I would definitely like at the end, it talks about like the season four of the podcast and like, I really, really want to listen to it. Um, so yeah, so it definitely has these podcast elements in and the podcast is called Guilty or Not Guilty. And um, it's like season three, episode five, and it's just different podcast elements. It has like the music, it has like the catchy little end line. So, so, so good.